Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Husna. In this video, we are going to discuss about intracellular enzymes and extracellular enzymes. In biology, extra means outside, intra means inside, and the cellular means cell. So, extracellular enzyme is the enzyme that acts outside a cell. An intracellular enzyme is the enzyme that acts inside a cell. Intracellular enzymes are the enzymes that produce by the cell and function within the cell itself. For example, hexokinase enzymes. Hexokinase enzyme is used in glycolysis in mitochondrion. In glycolysis, the glucose is broken down into energy and pyruvate. As you can see here, hexokinase enzyme is used within the cell, so it is known as intracellular enzymes. Extracellular enzymes are the enzymes that produce by the cell, but secreted out and function outside of the cell. For example, pancreatic amylase, lipase and trypsin are the enzyme produced by pancreatic cell but they are secreted out into duodenum to be used for digestion. Now, let us recall the names of organelle and the structure in the cell because this may help you to understand better about the production of extracellular enzymes. We start with the nucleus. The nucleus is very important because it contains the DNA or genetic information for the synthesis of protein or enzymes. Number two is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And then number three is ribosome. You can see that the ribosome attached to rough endoplasmic reticulum. I hope that you still remember the function. The ribosome synthesis the protein and the rough endoplasmic reticulum function to transport the protein. The end part of the rough endoplasmic reticulum will bud off and form a transport vesicle. The transport vesicle will carry the protein towards the Golgi apparatus. The transport vesicle will fuse with the membrane of Golgi apparatus and then the Golgi apparatus will modify the protein into enzymes. The end part of the Golgi apparatus will bud off and form a vesicle known as secretory vesicle and this secretory vesicle carry the enzyme towards the membrane of the cell. Okay student, now let us look at the production of extracellular enzymes. In the nucleus, the DNA double helix unwind and expose it to strand for the synthesis of mRNA strand. The mRNA leaves the nucleus through the nuclear pore and moves to a ribosome. After that, the mRNA will attach itself to the ribosomes. Ribosome is the site of protein synthesis. Protein synthesized by the ribosome will enter the lumen of the rough endoplasmic reticulum and then are transport through it. Once it reaches the end of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the membrane bud off to form transport vesicle. Then the transport vesicle that contain protein will move towards the Golgi apparatus and then fuse with it. In the Golgi apparatus, the protein are modified into enzymes and then will be secreted in the secretory vesicle that are formed from the tip of the Golgi apparatus. Finally, the secretory vesicle will move towards the plasma membrane and then fuse with the plasma membrane to secrete extracellular enzymes. This is the schematic diagram for the production of extracellular enzymes. Okay guys, that's all for today. See you again in the next video.